I just got the Tonar Dynamic Microphone Kit. I am regularly doing things with Zoom and are having conversations online and having good quality audio is a must. Uh, so I have not tested this out yet, nor have I opened the box yet. So let's go ahead and get this open. All right, so right here we have our adjustable stand that we'll need to connect to my desk. The clamp and we have our windscreen. And then we have here, awesome. So they gave us the USB type A to USB type C, but since we do have a lot of upgrades in using phones, uh, this is also a possibility that you can totally just use this with your phone. It has the adapter with it, so we can also turn this type A to a type C. Boom, so it could be USB type C to type C. So I will be testing this on my phone as well as on my computer. Here we go. And last, but definitely not least, the whole shebang and the whole point here, we have our microphone. So I'm gonna do a couple of tests. You're gonna hear some of the tests and then I'll let you know what I think. And you can let me know what you think by leaving comments. Currently, I am testing this microphone to be about a foot away, and I can actually hear myself uh, and hear the audio through these headphones. Uh, when you plus or minus on the microphone, it is changing the microphone level. And so you can hear a little bit in your headphones how loud or how quiet that may be. Uh, so I do have it just slightly out of frame. If I did want to put it closer and maybe have it in frame and show those cool LED lights, I'm sure I could back off the intensity of that audio and there you go i could have this if that's a look i wanted to have at least it has these awesome fun led lights to make it a little more interesting next i'm going to be testing this on an android phone and see how this works with the phone Testing with a Samsung S22 Ultra. Uh, typically, you would be perhaps using your phone to do some voiceover work, or maybe you need to use your phone and have it on a tripod for a podcast. This could be a fairly inexpensive way to use what you already have in order to have a podcast. Just enhance with a quality microphone like this. So here's testing footage of just using the onboard microphone that is on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So a newer phone, uh, but still you can hear the difference in using an onboard versus using a microphone. So I took some time and reviewed the footage from both the Zoom recording on the computer as well as from my Android phone. And for less than $50 the time of this recording, if you're looking to start a podcast or enhance your podcast if you're just using onboard microphones, you really may want to consider this mic from Tonar. Let's talk about some of the other features that it has. As you can see, there's these fun LED lights, which makes it, you know, have a little bit of style. Uh, but if you needed to make a quick mute. I know sometimes if you're on Zoom controls or if you're on your phone especially, you can't necessarily mute, but you can hear So as you can see, that red is a great indication that you are on mute. Uh, that way there's a good visual and no one will get confused. I know sometimes when you're working with guests on a podcast that maybe aren't as used to being on a set, they may accidentally put on mute, but at least red is a nice big warning sign that you need to press that button again. Again, you can adjust the levels on the sign there too. That's exactly where those buttons are in order to make it louder or softer. Uh, and you can monitor with a head headphone jack plug-in. This is again connected with a USB Type-C to USB Type-A 
cord that is provided to you, and they even provide you the adapter to make it a USB type C to USB type C. Again, if you are using a phone and you're only using your onboard microphone for a podcast, get yourself a few of these. The setup was super quick. And for that $50 price point, like I said, at the time of the recording, less than $50. It doesn't only just get you the microphone, it's also going to get you the hardware you need to attach your microphone to your desk. And then when all set is done, Put it away once it's all done and have it nice and tucked away, which is really nice. And so what are your thoughts of this microphone? Do you like it more than the lapel mic that I typically used on my Zoom recordings before getting this mic? I would love to hear your comments. Leave them in the comments. And are you someone thinking about getting a mic like this? Go ahead and learn more about this mic by clicking on the link in the description. If you have any questions, we're always here to help schedule a complimentary strategy session. Till the next video, talk more soon.